Okay, we want to find the measure of this angle here, of the measure of angle y z x. Now, this is an inscribed angle. You can tell it's an inscribed angle because all of the points that make the angle are on the circle. Okay, so whenever you have something like this, um, the measure of the inscribed angle is one half the measure of the arc that is um, intercepted by the angle. So one half the measure of the arc yx, that's this arc right, right here, is equal to the measure of angle yzx. Okay. Now, um, you could rewrite that as 2 times the measure of angle y z x is equal to the measure of the arc y x. Okay, so these two are equivalent statements. They just use a little algebra to rewrite it. Now, I know if I take the measure of this arc here, plus the measure of this arc here, plus the measure of this arc here, they all add up to 360 degrees. So let me write that. The measure of arc yz plus the measure of arc yx plus the measure of arc xz equal 360 degrees. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and substitute in what we know. So the measure of arc zy is 110. And I'm trying to find the measure of this angle here. And I don't know what it is, and nor do I know the measure of this arc. But I can still substitute something in here. I know that the measure of arc yz is 2 times the measure of the angle yzx. So let's actually substitute that in there. The measure of arc xz is 146. equal to 360 degrees. Okay, well now, since this is the angle that I'm actually trying to solve for, all I need to do is solve this equation for this angle right here. Okay, so let's combine our constant terms here. So I have 2 times the measure of angle y zx plus 256 degrees is equal to 360 degrees. Now let's subtract 256 degrees from both sides, so 2 times the measure of angle yzx is equal to 104 degrees. Now if I divide both sides by 2, that'll mean the measure of angle yzx is equal to 52 degrees.